Welcome to Savor the Flavor, the only cooking show in the RGV. On today's show, Larry Delgado from House Wine is going to show us a new twist on how to prepare and cook fresh fish. So don't go away because you're about to savor the flavor. Welcome back to Save the Flavor. With us today is Larry Delgado from House Wine. Hey, How are you doing today? Doing well. Thanks for having me back. Awesome. It's always fun to have you back. All right. Let's, let's get to it. <laughs> so, you're going to teach us how to prep fish. Yeah. I've got a couple of cool things we're going to do with some fish today. Uh, Jessica and I were fishing recently and we've got some awesome uh, fish here. A flounder. Uh huh. Really hard to find. You know, most people don't go fishing for flounder. It's yeah. kind of a secondary thing if you catch one. I happen to love flounders. It's a very unique fish. Uh, you know, flounder lays flat right. sideways, so you have the filet on top and bottom. So we're gonna do, let's get right into it. Okay. Uh, we're gonna filet this out, take the bones out, and create a pocket. We're gonna sear it, we're gonna bake it, what are we doing? We're gonna sear the skin on the outside, and then we'll bake it with the stuffing on the inside. Oh, beautiful. So a flounder only has a, it's got a small little gut space right, right. in here. So all of this is meat, and it's on the back side is another filet, another beautiful filet right there. So we'll do first, let's get right behind the fin here. Just remove that head. Right there. All right. So what you see here, once you remove the head, you've got the backbone right in the middle here. We'll go right over that bone and just work it all the way to the back. And then we're gonna, right above that rib cage, we'll just work it over to the side over here. And you can kind of see your, your the right. knife through here. Now you don't want to come all the way through, you want to leave this pouch intact. So you'll work it back over to the other side, being careful not to get through those bones because they're fragile. You can't cut through them. Uh huh. You take it easy and move. You, you'll, you'll, you'll can, yeah, you can see it all over the fish. You bring it all the way out to the edge without cutting that cutting that over. All right, so you can see how, how this is working. Wow, look at that. We'll flip it over, do the same thing on the other side. And that's just going to slide right out? No. No? <laughs> no. We're gonna, what we're going to do is turn this thing in on itself. It takes a little work and a little practice, but it's well worth it when you get it done right. So you can see our two fillets, one on top and one on bottom, and the bones are, are just, just right hanging on by the yep. edges. What we'll do now is we'll take our shears. And we're going to clip down the sides just a little bit, as far down as our shears will go without, without cutting through this thing. Careful not to get all the way to the skin, uh -huh. all the way to the edge. We go all the way back so to get these out of our way. Yeah, make sure you're using a good pair of shears. Oh yeah, you gotta have a good pair of shears and a yeah. sharp knife to do this as well. Otherwise you're just gonna end up tearing up your meat. A little bit off the top, just a little bit. All right. So now, check this out. We're just gonna peel it back. Oh wow! Look at that. Little by little. You gotta be careful not to tear the meat. That's right. You don't want to tear the meat. You don't want to tear the skin. So peel it back a little on each side, and as you go, snip a little more. Tell you this isn't. Uh, this is very. It, it it requires a lot of precision and and some patience. But <laughs> I'm telling you, it's totally worth it when you get it done right. Go back a little more. Wow. These things will almost break off just like that. Right here, see, we're almost down to the tail. We won't go all the way. Uh -huh. I think this is pretty close. Just snip it off, mm -hmm. and there's your bones. And we'll save this, I'll save all of that for, uh, to make a fish stock. Um, and uh, you know, I, don't, I don't like for any of this stuff to go to waste. Right. So as you see in here, a lot of these bones get left behind. Yeah. We're just gonna peel those off with our knife, and then we'll snip them off with the, with the shears. shears. Just make sure that you have no bones in here, because nobody likes to eat right. a filet. Surprise. 
and be surprised with a bone. All right, so this feels pretty good. Cool. All right, so you rub your fingers through there, make sure you don't have any bones in there, and once this is pretty clean, sure, you can flip it back on itself. So you, you, you end up with just a real nice chunk of flounder meat. That's it. So you have filet on top, filet on bottom, and a clean pocket to stuff with whatever you want. Wow, wow. All right, that's gonna be great. We'll put that aside and get to the redfish. All right, so how about before we get to the redfish, we'll take a quick break. You bet. And uh, just a little break, I know you that was, that was intense. I, you know what, it, it, it does get a little intense, but. Uh, <laughs> so don't go away, we'll be right back. The Savor the Flavor Kitchen is brought to you by ProBuilt. Incorporate convenience, function, technology, and beauty into your home. Add a Pro Kitchen by ProBuild. We offer a large selection of wood species, cabinet styling, moldings, stains, color combinations, finish details, accessories, and more. After all, your Pro Kitchen is custom made for you and your home. Plus, incorporating a Pro Kitchen adds considerable resale value, making it one of the best investments you can make. Pro Kitchen by ProBuild. Visit our showroom today. Welcome to El Divino Tip of the Day. Today, I will show you how to blanch your asparagus. This is very important because it will save you, save you a lot of time in your cooking, especially when you have a lot of gas. First thing you wanna do is boil some water. Season it, so this will give a little flavor to your asparagus. After you get your asparagus and you cut around an inch from the bottom, because that's the root, and, that thing, and the root is not good for you. You put in water, in the boiling water, around 10 seconds. After 10 seconds has passed, you take it immediately and you put in ice with water. This is called shocking. It will stop the cooking process. After you take it out of the water, you dry them and you can put it in the fridge until it's ready to use. This is El Divino's tip of the day. from Illumination, the Valley's premier lighting fixture showroom. Whether you prefer the classic beauty of traditional pieces or want to make a bold statement with the latest trends in lighting, Illuminations has lighting fixtures such as chandeliers, ceiling fans, bathroom lighting, and exterior lighting for every style and budget. The lighting specialists at Illumination are always ready and eager to help you every step along the way by adding beauty and drama both indoors and out. My name is Duncan Lozano. I'm your local realtor here in Mission, Texas. I'm with Remax Elite. Today I'm going to show you a beautiful home in a great neighborhood. This is a five bedroom home with four and a half baths, three room and study, approximately 3,750 square feet living area. This is a great family home in Cherryland Plantation at Quinta Real Subdivision. For a private tour of this home or any other home here in Cherryland Plantation, please call me. My name is Duncan Lozano. I'm with Remax Elite. The photos of McAllen remind us of where we came from. That history did not start with us, nor will it end with us. This is the quiet before the storm. There's a smell in the air of things to come. The grand simplicity of a perfect meal. The memories, the good ones are in the details. Tonight, you'll celebrate. Tonight just might be a night to remember. Welcome to El Divino. Welcome back to Savor the Flavor. With us today is Larry Delgado from House Wine, and he's teaching us how to prep fish. What's That's next? It. Next, we're going to do one of these redfish. Um, you know, oftentimes I see fish at the, or fishermen rather, at the uh, cleaning tables throwing back the head yeah. and, the, and the carcass and these throats down here. And I, that makes me want to cry. I throw that away too. The catfish are getting, the catfish and all the pelicans are getting uh, my, <laughs> what, some of my favorite meat. <laughs> Anyhow, so um, what we'll do is uh, fillet this out. And, uh, you know, if you're a fisherman or, or a home cook, um, 
You pretty much know what to do with the fillets. I'll show you a couple of things to do with the rest of the meat. All right. So we'll start off by filleting this. You got a hard bone right here on this redfish. Let's go all the way through it. And then we work our, fil our fillet knife across the back and just work it off those bones. Come all the way to the top. Okay. You made your first incision. You make a cut back here, cut right down to the bone. You'll feel the bone with the top of your knife. Can you hear that sound? Yep. You just work along those bones. Some fish have a bigger bone there than others, and some are more dense and harder to cut through than others. Sure. Like a salmon, you run your knife right through, and, and this fillet comes right off. Redfish is a little bit a little bit harder. You're more bony, too. Yeah. yeah. So we'll, we'll just work it to, along the back till we get to the top. It's like, like running a ladder. That's it. See how? Yep, there it is. There it is. I'll turn it around here in a minute so everybody else can see. If you flip the meat over, you just work down the Beautiful. bones with the tip of your knife. There it is. And it'll come right off. Get around those ribs. One way or the other, you're gonna have to fight with them. If you cut through them, you're gonna have to cut them out of your fillet. Yeah. If you cut around them, you can eliminate them all together. That's There's one. That's beautiful. Now you see, we still have some meat in here. But this is what you were telling me about. This is what I'm talking about, yeah. yeah. We'll get to that here in a second. We'll take the other fillet out. All right, so we'll just run our knife down here. And you can do the same thing to the other side. So by avoiding these bones here, we left a lot of meat right in here. There's meat on the other side there. Yeah. And you've got all this meat right up in the head and on the bottom, what's known as the throats. The throats. And from this point, you can get the throats out. Run your knife right between this down here. And be careful though. Oh yeah, you don't yeah. want to cut yourself here, especially if you're using that sharp knife like I was talking about. It's a lot of meat. Mm -hmm. Now if you take this, you grill it just like this, mm -hmm. you pull it off, it's perfectly cooked, and you can eat that meat right out with your awesome. fingers. Awesome. It's, it's delicious. A little salt and pepper is all you Oof. need for that right there. All right, so how about the head? Well, we're gonna take the meat out of there and use that for ceviche. If you grab me that bowl, okay. we'll, we'll start get, get going on that. And all we need is a measuring spoon, or a tomato quarter, or a melon baller, or anything, something that can scoop. Anything like that, yeah. So all we do here is scoop it out, scoop out the meat. And you know how they say, beef and chicken, that uh, best meat is closest to the bone? Yeah. I think the same applies to fish. And what and are we going to use this for? This is going to be ceviche. Ceviche? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, we're going to cure it in some lemon juice and some lime juice and add some tomatoes and squash. And uh, it's going to be delicious. Now, if you're, if you're a little squeamish and you, know, you don't want to eat the fish head, you can use those fillets and cut them a little small same and, thing. and do the same, same thing. Same thing. But, All uh, right, well, how about we let you finish that? Okay. We take it to a break. You bet. And when we come back, we'll finish out our fish. RGV Cupcake Factory, a whimsical wonderland of treats so cheerful and full of pop culture, you'll keep coming back again and again. We make everything fresh from scratch in small batches throughout the day using only the finest ingredients. Come taste our celebrity-inspired cupcakes like the Hugh Hefner, the Katy Perry, Michael Jackson, Don King, Flava Flav, Nutty Professor, Betty White. Or build your own Cupcake Plus. Compliment your cupcake with your choice of ice cream. Pick up an order for the office or any social gathering. RGV Cupcake Factory, the place to be. House wine, a range of tastes that capture the region of flavors. Building each plate from flavor to presentation, yet in a very approachable, high-spirited place. House wine, proud to offer sustainably raised products and ingredients for people who love to eat and explore new flavors. House wine, breaking the flavor barrier. Hey amigos, I'm Santiago de la Cruz, executive chef at the Club of Cimarron. And today's tip is how to cook pasta. First thing you need is boiling water and it's got to be at a rapid boil. You want to salt your water enough to have it a little salty taste to the water. And what you want to do to the pasta as well, you want to twist it and then 
drop it and it'll automatically get into that swirl. You can see the water boiling and you want to stir constantly to make sure that the pasta doesn't stick. You want to cook your pasta to, to the consistency is al dente, meaning that it still has a little crunch to it. All right, after it's cooked al dente, we dump it in a, in a bowl, drain it, of course. Then we add a little bit of olive oil just to make sure that the pasta doesn't stick. That's it a little bit. And this is the way you cook perfectly cooked pasta. And uh, again, amigos, I'm Santiago de la Cruz, executive chef at the Club at Chemin. At Lone Star National Bank, we like being close to our customers. We like seeing their communities grow because our customers are our neighbors. So when you bank with us, you get local decisions from a bank that is truly close to you. We love helping our customers and neighbors achieve their dreams. Lone Star National Bank, bringing the bank to you in the Rio Grande Valley. The Patio on Guerra restaurant in historic downtown McAllen, offering fine dining, USDA prime steaks, and an excellent wine selection in a wonderful historic building. We are an entertainment tradition reborn with live music and events found alongside our delightful setting and outstanding menu. Visit the Patio on Guerra for your next dining experience or event. Come by and share your family stories and ours in a unique vintage setting. The Patio on Guerra, an entertainment tradition reborn. Welcome back to Savor the Flavor. With us today is Chef Larry Delgado from House Wine, and today he's teaching us how to prep some really good fish. Yeah, we've got all our meat that we got, took from the head and the throats and, and the belly uh, ready to go. And it's just a little bit, you know. Uh, like I guess I mentioned before, it's, it's a lot of work, but it's well worth it. So here's all our meat. We're gonna add some lemon juice and lime juice. That's sugar. So we'll add some salt, a little bit of white pepper to that, just, just a, a tad and stir it up one time. Now this has to go in your refrigerator for at least two hours, sometimes overnight. I'll put this in the fridge and we'll get going with our stuff. Beautiful. Here. All right, so our pan's almost hot. I'm gonna add a little olive oil. And this, this is for our, basically what we're gonna make is a crab cake. Sure. And rather than um, form it into a cake and sear it, we're gonna stuff it into our, our uh, flounder, flounder over there. And we're gonna add a little bit of minced garlic here. A little red bell pepper. Tell us how much you're adding of each. This much. Beautiful. And that much of this. Yeah. You know what, that wasn't quite enough, we'll add a little more. All right. This is, we're making just enough for our flounder. And that's a pretty big flounder. All we're gonna do is let these soften up a little bit. Okay. That's pretty good there. I normally you want to let this cool. And I think we're gonna be all right because we're gonna Beautiful. we're gonna put this pan back in the fire here and let it continue to heat up so we can sear that. Uh. All right, so we've got that. We've got some fresh crab meat here. And we're gonna add. We'll go about that much there. We're gonna add some of these breadcrumbs. Beautiful. Kind of. I'm just gonna use the whole egg. All right, that'll work. <laughs> Mix that up. Now, do you want it <clears throat> very lumpy or? or I like. Or is, to, is that is that properly said? Lumpy. I, you know, I do like to leave it uh, a little lumpy uh, because you know you want to bite into the crab. Okay. I'm just gonna put it right in. So I tell you what, it's, your hands aren't that all that fishy right now. Let's just season this up with a little salt and pepper on both sides. Go easy on it because this is a, a real delicate fish. It's a, it's a thin fillet. You don't need too much seasoning. That's good on the salt. That's good. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So we'll go back to our pocket here and just stuff it. Beautiful. Oh, look at that! It's like a glove. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm gonna take this knife. Score the skin. We don't want to cut all the way through the fillet. Just through the skin, though. Just the skin. A little salt on the skin. 
Again, you want to do it presentation side down first. That's right. All right, so this is good. We got a Beautiful. good sear on both sides. I'm just going to slide that into this pan here. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, man, it's starting to smell oh, delicious. Oh, man, if you think it smells delicious now, wow. what we're going to do before we throw it in, in the oven, uh -huh. is a little lemon zest over the top. Oh, and a squeeze of lemon juice. That's it. Pop this in the oven and get our green beans going. Beautiful. All right, so we have some boiling water. We just drop these in. We're going to blanch them for about three minutes. Okay. And we don't want to lose the flavor that we've got going on here, so we're going to use the same pan. Now, this is my favorite style of cooking. Yeah. At the end, you only got one dish to clean. Oh, you know, I'm telling you, not only that, the plating <laughs> is going to be, it's going to be plated on one dish, so it's perfect for family. It's perfect Beautiful. for dinner for four, dinner with friends. You know, you throw one of these out in a bottle of wine and you're done. You're good to go. Awesome. All right, so how about while we finish our side, we take it to a break, and when we come back, we'll continue with our fish. You got it. All right, don't go away. The Republic of the Rio Grande, restaurant and cantina. Specializing in Southwestern cuisine, our menu includes a full range of tempting items made with only the freshest ingredients including the best steaks and seafood. We strive to create a sumptuous and exciting dining experience for our guests, no matter the occasion. Enjoy the flavors of an original experience. Hoist a drink and toast in memory of the free republic. Live the romance, the republic of the Rio Grande. Hi, I'm Joe Cuellar with Castle & Cook Mortgage. Now is the time to purchase the home of your dreams. If you have not bought a home or you're wanting to upgrade into a newer or larger home, let me assure you that there couldn't be a better time than today. Call me or go to joecuellar.com today and remember, I'm Joe Cuellar at Castle & Cook Mortgage where you will always be our valued client for life. It's Truck Month at South Texas Buick GMC. Right now, get 0% APR for 60 months plus up to $2,000 consumer cash on all 2011 Sierra, Yukon, and Acadia. Come in today. Get 0% APR for 60 months plus up to $2,000 consumer cash or get up to $8,000 off MSRP on select 2011 GMC Sierra. We're offering unheard of trade-in values right now. Come see us and get top dollar for your vehicle. It's Truck Month at South Texas Buick GMC between Ware and Chevy Road in the McAllen Mission area. Not the biggest, just the best. Valley Wedding Pages, Social and Events, the premier event and social magazine. Find the best restaurants and caterers for your special occasion. Pick up a copy at these fine restaurants. All right, so we're back, and I think we're ready to play. Yeah, our oil's hot, our green beans are ready. They've been sitting there chilling out a little bit. We're going to add some uh, sliced garlic this time some. to our pan. Get that garlic cooked up. Then toss in some toasted almonds or some almonds. All right. Move that around a little bit. And there's a fine line. We'll add those sun-dried tomatoes in there just to heat them up. All right. And throw our green beans in there. Green beans. A little seasoning. Just Look at toss that. Those Look around. at that. Beautiful. What I love about green beans is, is the uniformity of, of the plating, you know? Scratch that. I love green beans. Okay. And we got about one more minute on this fish here. What I'll do is break the ceviche. See, our ceviche is already starting to. Get white. There it is. And we might need a little more time in there, um, but in the meantime, I'm gonna get it all fixed up. Well, we're, we're gonna add, uh, you know, so a different take on ceviche. This, sure. is, uh, this is something we did early in the summer, and, and it worked out really well uh, at House Wine. Tomato. We got some uh, yellow squash here, some zucchini, mm. a little red onion and celery. Beautiful. No, and again, Cucumber. this was done. With the, the the pieces of the yeah. of the redfish, yeah. yeah, you know you don't have to you don't have to discard all that. Uh, sometimes a little work, you can reap the rewards. And I'm gonna regret grabbing this with my fingers later, but that's just a little bit of habanero. Oh, just to uh, heat things up a little that, bit. Yeah, yeah. If you like spice, you can use a whole one. <laughs> no. 
Big. That's yours. Is it mine? Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah? <laughs> Excellent. Well, there That's you a go. winner, man. That's a winner. All right. Look at that. Flounder's ready. Look at this guy. Oh, wow. Look at that. Looks like a cake. Carefully bring that over. Right over the green bean? Right over the green beans. Yeah. Uh, it's just spilling with goodness, man. It's delicious. It looks delicious already. And, and you can see how the skin is crispy. Uh, you've got the flesh just, it looks juicy still. Yeah. It's not dried out. It's, it, it had a perfect amount of time in the oven. And even that breading Look at that. Is, is it's starting to crisp up what was on the, on the outside. I can't wait to dig into this. Oh, but I'm going to let you go first because always age before beauty. <laughs> I'm gonna start right here. How's that? Oh, you gotta get some crab. Yeah, and get right. All look, that look, goodness look. in there. Look at that. Okay, I'm gonna give me some. I'm just gonna get right here. Can't let you have all the fun. Oh man. Oh. This is all kinds of good. There, this is delicious, man. Thank you, Rico. You know, I know that you guys are coming up on your third year anniversary too mm -hmm. at House Wine. Tell me about that. What, what are you guys doing special for this? And lots of good things happening for us here in the next month or so. Uh, we are having our, our uh, three year anniversary. Um, that's gonna be October 3rd. Uh, it's been a long three years, October 2nd. Rather. It's been a great three years. It has, uh, you know, we're, we're very pleased and uh, man, we just gotta thank everybody for their support and the City of McAllen and the RGV, everybody's been great to us so far. And uh, you know, we're glad to call, call McAllen home. Um, you know, aside from that, we also have the uh, chapter, brand new chapter of the TCA, which is the Texas Chefs Association. Uh -huh. uh, Chef uh, Santiago from the Cimarron right. is our director, and we're getting into some uh, uh, some fundraising uh, coming up soon. As a matter of fact, our first will fall on our anniversary. No correlation there. It's just, uh, uh, it's just, it just the happens way it is. to be happens to be our anniversary date. Uh, it's called Epicurean Nights. What is and, that? Well, it's going to be a series of wine dinners. Um, we're planning five or six course meals that will be paired with wine. And uh, it's gonna, our, our association right now is comprised of about 30 chefs. Okay. Um, or chefs and culinarians. The first one will be held at House Wine. Uh, the second and third will, will be at different locations, other restaurants, uh, and uh, our chefs will be constantly changing for each event. So yeah, come out and support the uh, TCA RGV chapter. It's gonna be October 2nd. Seven o'clock, you can get your tickets at House Wine, call me personally. Larry, or I want to be the first one to congratulate you and Jessica for Thanks three for years you. of great service, Thank you. man. We appreciate it. Great service. Thanks and a lot. also for you know for being on Savor the Flavor and, and making all these people smile every morning, every well, Sunday thanks. morning. Thanks, I appreciate it. Thanks for having me back. Uh, it's a lot of fun. And, it's a pleasure. And uh, you know, I hope to be doing a lot more this week. Awesome. Well, we're going to continue to eat, but don't forget that food brings friends and family together. So go cook something. To view today's recipes, log on to savortheflavortv.com. That's a wrap.